Hey, Corporal Sean Francis here again. Today I've got a question from where to go, Patty Bagshaw. And uh, Patty asked, you know, how do you read labels, nutrition labels basically, when you're grocery shopping? Um, what do you want to avoid and what's ideal? So we'll go through a couple of the basic things first and then I'll give you a lot of great examples. The first thing you're looking at is serving size. Serving size is going to tell the difference between th what that nutrient label means and what it potentially could be totally different. So a serving size of, as, as we talked about in a previous video, half a cup versus one cup. If half a cup, so you're looking at the front label and it says, you know, excuse me, five grams of sugar per serving. And then you look at one over here, it says 10 grams of sugar per serving. And you're going, well, I'm gonna go with the five grams per serving. If you're to look at the serving size and this is half a cup and this is one cup, then basically they're the same thing because you double the half a cup and they equal out at 10 grams of serving each. So look at the serving size and relate that back to how much you're gonna consume. Again, it's, you know, if a serving size, say on a box of cereal, and it's listing off three quarters of a cup. A box of cereal contains, say, 10 grams of sugar. So you're looking at that and you say, well, it's only got 10 grams of sugar, but is three quarters of a cup realistic to how much cereal you eat? I know when I eat cereal, when I used to eat cereal, I would eat one to two, maybe even three cups of cereal. I eat quite a bit in the morning. So look at the serving size. Number two is gonna be calories. Now, calorie is basically the energy required to raise one gram of water through one degree Celsius. So it's a measure of energy, basically. And as we consume food, there's an energy amount to each type of food and based on what it's made up of as well. I mean, carbohydrates versus proteins and fats all have different amount of energy. And then when we exercise, we expend energy and just being alive in our daily activities, there's a basal rate of energy we expend for our heart to pump and our lungs to breathe. So you're gonna take a look at the calorie content of the food and find out where those calories come from. And a lot of the calories then are gonna be based on the daily value and that's number three you're looking at, which is usually recommended or based on a 2,000 calorie per day um, recommendation. So assuming most people consume 2,000 calories a day, you would pick an item and it would say, you know, it has so many grams of iron and this relates to 10% of your recommended daily um, allotment or intake or what you should take to assume that you're getting all your vitamins and nutrients. So foods that are high dense in vitamins and nutrients are going to make sure that you're closer to our recommended 100%. We want to get full amounts like gasoline in a vehicle. You need all of the components put together to make a great gasoline to get that car to run. Same thing with your nutrition. You want to make sure that you're hitting the recommended daily requirements for all of your vitamins, all your minerals, all your macro and micronutrients. Number four is going to be what good nutrition was it is and what you know bad nutrition is. So good at things like fiber, your vitamins we just talked about, all of your vitamins A's and C's, your your minerals, you've got iron, you've got calcium, things like that that are natural, that are within our body and that our body recognizes and can use to provide us energy for our daily activities. Bad foods are things like sodiums, sugars, and trans fats, okay? Things like that, that aren't gonna contribute to that much. So just some small numbers on fiber, one of the things that I saw, if it says a source of fiber, that means two grams of fiber, two grams or less. If it says source of fiber, and that's all that means, okay? And then there's high fiber is four grams, and very high would be six grams. So take a look at those labels as to what does high fiber mean, how many actually is in it, and how does that relate to my recommended daily requirement of calories? Bad things, you know, sugar obviously is going to be number one. It has a detrimental effect on the body. It causes inflammation in the body. It reduces our immune response for a certain amount of hours after consuming sugar. So I looked it up, and you're looking at a maximum, and this is for female and children, of six teaspoons per day of sugar, 2.5 grams of sugar, which is, or sorry, 25 grams of sugar, very, very small. Males can get away because they're a little bit heavier at nine teaspoons a day. So it's very, very small. The thing is, is likely we probably consume a lot more. So females 25 grams maximum a day, males 37.5 maximum a day um, for sugar. Trans fats, we want to minimize. We want low fat, which usually means under three. And depending on the types of fat, there's current research now saying that saturated fat is actually beneficial for the body and saturated fat and cholesterol being makeup of our neurological system, our nervous system. So we want to make sure we are consuming good amounts of those. And we'll certainly probably put a video together for you on that. Sodium is another great question there. Sodium you're looking to minimize. Unfortunately, sodium is put in a lot of foods because it helps preserve the food with things that are packaged and bagged and boxed and canned, which is why we recommend in the previous video, shop on the outside, you're gonna get no to minimal sodium content. Um, sodium, recommended daily allowance is gonna be 2.3 grams or 2,300 milligrams and we want to minimize that because it certainly has a toll on the body when we start taking a lot of sodium. So we're going to go through a couple of foods here and uh, we're going to go through the nutrient content. So right here I have an apple and if you take a look at the, able, uh, the label on it, it's going to say apple. And it's a 100% apple. That's all there is. There's no additives or anything else like that. Same as 
these guys here, okay, and it's, I don't even know if there's an ingredients label, but obviously it's probably just gonna say peppers. And, and that's all it is, and our body knows what a pepper is. There's no additive, nothing subtracted. Um, an orange is an orange is an orange. Here's something that's in a, uh, in a can, in a package here, just like this. This is quick cook steel cut oats, okay? So I have this for breakfast, and and if I look down here on the ingredients, it says organic whole grain steel cut oats. That's all it is. Remember, we talked about five ingredients or less, so it's not a mystery to our body as to what it is we're consuming. And looking at this here, I can see that a uh, serving size of one quarter cup dry. Now dry, remember, you're gonna add water and it's gonna expand, so it's gonna take up more. So uh, today, I think I had a half a cup, so I'm doubling all these amounts. So calories is 150, I had 300 calories. Uh, doubling, here's the answers, these are all doubled, six grams of fat, which is 10% of my daily allowance on here. Sodium is zero. Carbohydrates, I got four grams of uh, fiber. Doubled is eight grams. So right now I'm at 32% of my daily requirement of fiber, which is great for overall health. Sugar, one gram, so I had two grams of sugar with this. And then protein is five, so I actually had 10 grams of protein already. And it also shows here that it has 10% of my requirement of iron, and I had uh, double the, the amount of the serving, so I had 20% my daily allotment of um, iron already. So that steel cut was very, very straightforward and simple. Uh, blueberries, these are just blueberries straight out, nothing different on it. This here is, uh, again, another product here. This is uh, almond butter, and usually things that have expiry dates on it I mean it's, it's probably a little bit healthier than things that are gonna sit on the shelf. Uh, we'll talk about this in a second, and very likely there's no expiry date on this guy here. But uh, this is natural almond butter, and if I look at the ingredients, dry roasted almonds, that's all it is. It's got some healthy fats in it, it's got saturated fats, and it's got a lot of protein, minimal sugar, it's got some great fiber, minimum sodium, uh, and, and another great thing. So it, you know what I do? I take these, I cut them up and I dip them in this and that's my snack for the day. So I'm getting good carbohydrates, I'm getting uh, protein, I'm getting fat, I'm getting fiber and, and this fills me up. Okay, so we'll look at some other things and we'll start to work our way towards the non-healthy. This is flake lake tuna in water. Um, because it's canned, they've had to go in and add some salt to it. So the ingredients, skipjack tuna, water and salt. So there has been salt added. Now this can here, and there's another case in point here. It shows a, uh, a weight drained of 120 grams. Now, the serving size is based on half a can, so I have to double all these numbers because I can easily eat through a can of tuna, but realize I'm not consuming this, I'm consuming double the amount. So it says on here that I'm getting 15 grams of protein, and in actuality, because the whole can I'm consuming, I'm getting 30 grams of protein. Zero sugar, zero carbohydrates, uh, cholesterol 30 milligrams, sodium 150 milligrams, 6% and remember that's for half a can. So 300 milligrams of sodium in one can here, remembering that 2300 is my daily requirement. So now I only have 2000 uh, milligrams sodium left if I consume this and if I eat it straight out as is. These are uh, walnut halves and if I look at the back here, ingredients, walnuts, that's all it is. So it's, it's straight out, my body knows how to use that stuff. Making your way down the line here, we've got another canned product. This is the Heinz Chipotle barbecue style. Um, beans, beans for breakfast, whenever you eat your beans. Ingredients, water is the first one. So you don't want to have sugar in the first five. because the, the closer it is, the first ingredient you read is the most. So the most of what's in here is going to be water. And then we go into white beans, tomato puree, sugar is number four, salt, white vinegar, dehydrated, red peppers, garlic puree, spices, dehydrated onions, calcium chloride, chipotle chili peppers, natural smoke flavor, and mustard. Remember we talked about yesterday, natural smoke flavor, what does that mean? Because I don't know where you would grow natural smoke flavor. It doesn't grow on the ground, it doesn't come from an animal, it's something that's been created chemically. So there's chemical involved in uh, natural smoke flavor. And then it talks here about the sugar, so as we look down the list, this is per half cup, 125 mils. This is a 398 mil container here, so we're looking at one, two, hold on a second, okay. three, so times three. If I eat this whole can of beans, times three, I'm getting 27 grams of sugar. Coming back here, as a male, my max is 37.5. I'm almost topped out for the day because I ate a can of beans for breakfast. Now, I probably wouldn't eat a can. I could easily eat half a can, but even at that point, I'm still at uh, 14 or 15, half my daily requirement or allowance of sugar. So take a look at the sugar in the things that you're eating. This is great for fiber, it's great for protein, but the sugar is the downfall, and it's probably because of the, uh, the flavor, the barbecue flavor. Going along here, this is our uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Touted as a, a great cereal, and it says, you know, naturally flavored, and it's whole grain, it's a source of fiber. 
great for kids, made with real honey, natural flavor, oat fiber is good, lowers cholesterol, so lots of good positive things. But if we take a look at the side here and the ingredients, we've got whole grain oats, so that's a good start. Number two ingredient is sugar and or golden, golden sugar. So right off the bat, we're already into the sugars. Corn starch, oat bran, honey, salt, golden syrup, calcium carbonate, high monosaturated canola oil, which is another not so great product for you, trisodium phosphate, tocopherols, wheat starch, natural almond flavor, vitamins, minerals, niacinamide, calcium, pantothenate, pyroxidine, hydrochloride, vitamin B6 folate, and iron. So there's a lot of stuff that they've added in here. It's not as natural as this, still cut oats. All it is is still cut oats. I take a look at the side, again, three quarter cup, knowing that I probably consume a cup and a half or maybe more, I need to double all of these things. I get the sugar, and if I have a cup and a half of this, it means I've consumed 18 grams of sugar already to start my day. And I know when I consume sugar, it brings my immune down, it, it makes me lethargic, it causes, uh, uh, I get a spike in insulin, and then I come down and I'm tired later on in the day. So take a look at where all of your sugars are coming from. We only got two left to go, and we're done here. This one is our super sweet treats, Jube Jubes. And again, oh, well, sorry if I'm rocking here. I think we just knocked the chair. This is uh, super sweet Jube Jubes and ingredients. Number one ingredient is sugar. Number two ingredient is glucose syrup. You wanna know what a trick is? If it ends in O-S-E, it is another type of sugar. So glucose, lactose, fructose, these are all sugar. So guess what this is? Sugar and sugar syrup. Probably not the best thing for your body. Modified cornstarch, gelatin, mineral oil, petrol, uh, petrolatum, carbonyl wax, natural and artificial flavors. Again, what does that mean? An artificial flavor. Chemicals have put it together. Color, that's an ingredient. Color contains tartrazine. A color is an ingredient. Again, you're not gonna grow color on a plant or get it from an animal. It's something chemically that's been put together and put in this food and labeled as color. So this obviously you should see is crap. Eight pieces of this is 21 grams of sugar. You're at your daily max and eight pieces very likely if you've taken these to the movie theater or a drive-in or anything else like that you're going to have more than eight pieces the last thing we have this stuff is not even really food you want to show okay show everybody what that is here's cadence this is my daughter and she has our favorite camping treat that uh we don't have all the time but sometimes we have marshmallows but it's the choices you make so these are large marshmallows um, and in the ingredients, we have corn syrup, sugar, dextrose, modified cornstarch, water, gelatin, natural, artificial flavor, tetrasodium, pyrophosphate, four pieces is 16 grams of sugar, so four grams of sugar per, and chances are you're sitting around the campfire, you're going to have a couple of these things here, so it's the choices we make, and, uh, you know, we've, we've obviously, we've taken, can I tell him something? yes, you tell him something. Oh. These are marshmallows, and I like to eat them. She likes to eat marshmallows, so it's. We've given our child marshmallows, she likes marshmallows, we don't eat them all the time, once in a while is okay, but understand what's in the products that you're eating, learn how to read the labels, make sure that we understand that, uh, look at the serving size, look at the calories involved, look at the daily value, the percentages, and make sure we get the best we can, look at what's good nutrition, look for things like minimal, less than five, and natural substances, fiber, vitamin A, C, iron, and calcium, and the last one is bad. Don't forget to work out. Don't forget to work out. Yeah. and limit your sugars, your trans fats, your sodiums, and uh, if you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks for watching this video. Corporal Sean Francis, my daughter Cadence, and with Fitcore Boot Camp. And, and, and make sure you work out. Too. Make sure you work out. Either at Fitcore Boot Camp, right? Yeah. Or Kawartha Lakes Fit Body Boot Camp. And for more info, you can check out our website at kawarthafitness.com. K-A-W-A-R-T-H-A fitness.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.